Oh boy, this is gonna be a rough one. When it's when it's a rough one, you know what I do? I always revert to my pure black cherry. I got to put pure blackness in me when it's really rough. You know what I'm saying? I can't do those other stuff. I don't care. You know, tumor's got its healing powers. Stop the swelling, blah, blah, all, whatever. Carrot does whatever it does, all that stuff. No, I got to go pure black cherry. You know, that's what, just, that's all this is. It says right there. Don't worry. Believe me. I've had this enough, right? Man, and then, okay. Let me pour it in a glass. You know. Oh, boy. And then, um, it's the afternoon, so I, I always use, I used to take my apple cider vinegar thing. This thing, apple cider vinegar. Think of it like, okay, remember when Donald Trump said, well, everybody said that he said drink bleach or whatever have you. Here's the funny thing about Trump. Not the funny thing. Well, well, okay, first of all, let's say the boy's a clown. Okay, now when you if the person's a clown, you say he's a clown. So whatever he says, you know, he's going to be either is going to be clownish or he could be. Here we go, clowning you. What does a clown actually do? Entertaining, but they also clown you. You know, they get the rubber thing, they bang you over the head, whatever. Anyway, but so when he said that, you know, I always I have this weird. I want to say it's not. It's an ability that some people can read between the lines. You, I sort of read between the situations. <laughs> I, I mean, I say, uh, and I think it, it comes from me from being a, a, a. I guess you call it a contrarian, or whatever. You know, you're one of those people that you you give them the ultimatum. They take the ultimatum, you know what I mean? Or we'll kill you. Okay, I'm dying. Let's go. <laughs> that kind of thing. Anyway, so um, apple cider vinegar is like a bleach for your inside. It's like, you know, so instead of taking bleach like like people tell you, you take apple cider vinegar. <sighs> okay. This is going to be a difficult one. It might be long. So forgive me. I woke up this morning and had what we call uh, um, an epiphany. A revelation. <laughs> it must. Everything comes in the morning. I'm, I'm a, I should say, I write. I'm a writer. Whatever. I'm gonna write. All your thoughts come in the morning. It's nice and plastic. Whatever it is. And I'm a 24 hour person anyway. So I had this thing this morning. I said, "Huh?" I couldn't believe what I was thinking because I had this thought the other day about. You know, I was sort of weirdly. You know, I'm going like, you know, the way things are going, stuff is just coming down. They're giving us these choices, but the choices are between. To white supremacist. There's a way to say, hold on a second. You can't call somebody a white supremacist. Now, when I say you can't call somebody, that's from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Okay? It says, only unless the person says they're a white supremacist, right? Then you really can't call them anything. You can say they're a suspected white supremacist, or they can say, you can even say they have white supremacist tenants. They're doing white supremacist things. Whoa, it was a, they've been doing white supremacist things. Okay, let's look at the evidence, you know? Because remember, white suprem if you're a white supremacist, that's just one of the things you are. You're also this, this, and this. Okay, so let's say, for instance, let's take Trump versus Biden because of the presidential. I'm going to leave other people out for a second. So Trump has said, that, you know, those five boys, you know, that that, that killed, that, 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 that raped that woman in, the, in Central Park, they put up, well, he had money, so they put up full ads in, in the New York Times. Get, they need to get the death penalty. I'd kill him, blah, blah, blah. At the same time that was happening, he was making friends, you know, with Hillary Clinton and giving money to the Democrat, the Republicans, you know, making friends with, with, with rappers, you know, whatever he's doing all this. So, so, he's, a, so he's, a, uh, he, he's a person that's advocating the death of black boys, you know, who are innocent. We knew they were innocent. We felt they were innocent. You know what I mean, anyway, he was doing that. At the same time, you know, he was making friends with black rappers. At the same time, he was making friends with Democrat people, and he was making friends with that. Plus, he was hanging out with, the, you know, the mafia was raising him. He's being gangster. You know, he's doing whatever it is. Okay. That same time period, by the way, Biden, the guy Joe Biden, he was, because let me go back. So, so let's, let's say Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump, He's informed by he's he grows because of the of the construction industry industry and whatever have you because of his daddy being Ku Klux Klan or whatever he was whatever and and and, and covenants against black people living in his buildings or whatever it is that's how we inform you know and, and plus the mafia you know because you come on now come on now organized crime whatever you know he cement the whole thing you know like that that's who that's who's raising him at the same time 
you know, Biden's coming into Congress or whatever, have he's coming wherever he's coming to, you know, making laws. He's raising by people like 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 the Eastlands and the Stennises and the you know whatever those 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 racist guys you know, so he's being raised by racists. So you got Trump raised by mafia racists. Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me go a little bit to my background. Okay, I grew up in the South Bronx. Now the South Bronx, you know, when I was I grew up in the late the late fifties early sixties. Okay, when I was but by the time I was ready for me to join a gang, you know what I mean, in the South Bronx, there was no gangs. Why? Because the, the mafia, right, and the politicians and, you know, the police all allowed drugs to come into the community so they would basically neutralize the gangs in in the South Bronx, also on the Lower East Side, a bunch of other things, right? That's why, that's what happened. So you have, so let's say, say for instance, uh, the people that raised Trump got together with the people that raised, talking about politicians and racists, right, right? That raised Biden, right? Got together, you know, and they allowed, you know, people, that they allowed where, where, where the drugs grown, where was heroin, whatever have you, they come from other, from the outside world, you know what I mean? To come into the South Bronx to destroy the gangs so that they, because what they were afraid of were the gangs at, at, uh, were, perfect example, uh, Fred Hampton, you know what I mean? He was he was hanging out, you know, with, 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 uh, you know, in Chicago with those, you know, the Blackstone Rangers. Was Blackstone Rangers? The Blackstone Rangers. You know. Anyway, the, the gangs in Chicago, and he was organizing them. You know what I mean? They saw that, but that was later on. I should say that was later on. Anyway, that was their fear. Plus, he was actually talking to a bunch of other people, right? But the point is, they were afraid they'd become politicized in the gangs instead of just, uh, uh, how do you say, protecting their turf. They would take that politicalization, you know, that they got from. And remember, now remember in the South, they were listening to, you know, um, uh, you know, you know, um, you know, people like Ella Baker and and uh, and Martin Luther King and you know, you know people like Michael Evers, you know, people, you know, you know, regular people. But up in the North, we were listening to Malcolm X. We were listening to Lorraine Hansberry. We were listening to you know uh, uh, James Baldwin. That's what we were listening to up north, right? So you, you know, so, so basically, I'm I'm raised by Lorraine Hansberry and Malcolm X <laughs> and James Baldwin, right? These folks are raised by you know mother whatever they, they raised down there, right? So now, so now, so now, as we get going, 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 the the the, the drugs destroys my 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 peoples, right? The politics in the South destroys the the people down in the South and the movements down in the South. When I say the politics, they, they absorb them into the into the they absorb them into the politics, you know. Or you become you okay, you become the mayor. You put it up. Economic power still not there in the North. They say, oh, okay. Um, uh, you, you. Well, they do the mayor thing, but they also, they also say, "Oh, you could take the drugs." You know, what I mean, you, you'll be the victims of the drugs. So, the, the communities are these two forces are doing. Okay, great. Now, as we as we go along, right now we at a point right now, and, and, and I'm leaving the outside people. When I say outside people, where the drugs came from, whatever have you, you know, because you know, we didn't have the drugs, right? Then whatever else, the money, whatever, whoever is whoever is running this to show the the Fed, whatever running the show. Okay, leave that out. So now you have a situation right now in 2020 where you have these the same forces that destroyed both the Southern movement, if you want to put it that way, and the Northern movement. Let's, let's destroy the Black movement. <laughs> they destroyed it completely. They're now competing, you know, to continue to destroy the Black movement. The difference now... I need some Black juice for this. Is you got black people saying like, "Hey, we, 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 we you know, this guy that said stuff, right? We, we he's a clown. We got to get rid of him because he he offends us." Well, you know, yeah. So what did he he he, he uh, Jack Johnson he gave a pardon to, you know, or his party? His, I mean, let's, let's leave him alone. He's the face of the party. It's his Republican. Wait a second, but he's a rogue. The Republican Party they they don't know what to do with this boy either. Other than follow him, because they just one, they just do one or two things, right? But the Democrats a little bit. No, we're invested in the Democrats. The Democrat Party, we're we're invested in them. You know what I mean? We got relationships, or as this is what I love. Remember, remember, everybody remember this. I remember, I saw it. John Lewis got up there, right, 
And and when Hillary Clinton was won in, in was it 2016 where and uh, the primaries against um you know um what do you call that, that that boy the the one that's not a gangster the one that grew up you know with the you know s- singing folk songs uh, uh Bernie Bernie Sanders said we know Hillary that's he said we know her we don't I don't know I don't know B- Bernie Sanders. When they say no, when, when black people, that's code. So black people, we are talking code. But they were saying, saying, we have relationships with her. We have relationships. You know, when Bill Clinton played the saxophone, we we paid attention to playing the saxophone and not paying attention to that he beat up on a sister, sister soldier. We we love him because he he was hanging out with the, with the, with the number one talk show guy, you know, whatever have you, versus you know, say, oh no, whoever, you know what I mean. So, so, so it's, it's, we have this weird thing like that, and then you, then you have her. Okay, when he was, she was. Oh, um, uh, then, then when she finally got the nomination, whatever. Did she get, anyway, but she was. Uh, uh, what do you call dancing with with the uh, with the uh, Roland Martin like that? Now we have a situation right now where, for instance, I listen to 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 uh, Doctor Carr, Doctor Greg Greg Carr. Whenever he's on, I, I try to catch him, but. He's he's fraternity brothers with Roland Martin. It's a relationship, so he's not going to say he's a, oh, our brother. He's not going to say anything against him. But, but, you know, I'm not a fraternity. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say nothing against my brothers. You know, I, my, when I'm in New York, I'm, I, I'm with one of my fraternity brothers. He a Pan Africanist, right? You know, <laughs> constantly listening to MSNBC. You know what I'm saying? I, I said, turn that thing off. Blah, blah, blah. Darn, he's got to say, okay, fine. Right now, I'm with, forget, right now, I'm, with, I'm in a household. They listen, he constantly listens to NPR. I'm going to get to that in a second. My point is, these are relationships, right? And let's go, let's stay with Karen Hunter. Is that her name? The, the, the sister that's on, the, 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 she wants to build a hope, whatever. You know, she, on Sirius. When she was with Sirius, who was she? Who was her a colleague, Sirius? That 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 Thompson guy, the 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 guy that's, that that has Nancy Pelosi on her on his speed dial, so she feels so 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 sort of against ADOS because they believe that ADOS is the one that got him fired, got him fired from Sirius because he, you know, went, he thought he was tough, right? And somebody else, whoa, the ADOS. I, I don't think the guy was really well. Could say he's ADOS, right? So now they feel some way against ADOS. Because they got the boy that had the insight that, that knew Nancy Pelosi, right? You you, you see the it's relationships, okay? At the same time, let's stay with relationships. I know I'm jumping back for it, but that's what I do. That's the way it is, you know, right? So now she's not going to say she. So she comes up. She does. They always say come down eight years. They they, they 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 sort of dismiss it. Oh, oh no, uh, 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 whatever. They dismiss it, right? At the same time, you know. Uh, in, back in 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 uh, wait, not Hollywood, I guess it could be Hollywood. In 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 DC, because all this because he had Nancy Pelosi and speak down, they're t- coming up to ADOs on a political level, because, but they can't because remember the thing that ADOs has that nobody, none of these other organizations ever had, right? Is we're not beholden to whiteness, to white supremacy. You know, the, don't get me. I'm just. Let me leave the nation Islam out of this because I can say certain things. But you know, all these other organizations, uh, you you name it, the Sharptons, whatever it is, they're somehow they're beholden to white supremacy. White supremacy, as Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. would tell you, works all sides of the, of the game. You see, so no matter. Okay, so you, you got that. I'm, I'm not going to beat that dead horse. Okay, now so what's happening in my brain? I'm going like, okay, so what did Donald Trump actually do against black people? You know, and, and versus say what does the no forget them. What the Republican Party actually do against black people versus what the Democrat Party did actually did against black people, right? And remember, I read. Well, I shouldn't say that. I was I was listening to the the Audacity of Hope, Barack Obama's book. I defy you. He's going to come out with a new book so so well in November, I guess. You know, that, I guess that's again the wave. You know, we're going to get the Obama thing. And you know, well, let me get back to the second. And if you try to read Audacity of Hope, you will see how he be- completely betrayed us, black people on top of, or progressives, right? These same progressives keep on saying, Donald Trump is bad, 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 bad. But they're not, and, and, well, some of them are saying, 
Joe Biden is bad, but not black people. There's, there's two, when I start to say black people, you know, the, 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 the intelligentsia, the people who read books, you know, they all, they, you know, some of them, you know, lately I've been hanging out. When I say hanging out, I mean, you know, listening to YouTube with Dr. Randy Short, my new hero. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> anyway, so like, that's the question. Who are you surrounding yourself with? There's a military question, okay? Who would you be in a foxhole with? Foxhole meaning the trenches. Who would you be in the trenches with? Would you be in the trenches with, say, uh, Dr. Randy Short? Or you'd be in the trenches with uh, Dr. Greg Carr? I'm not putting them against each other. They have different fights. They have different ways of approaching it. They both read. I read, you know, okay. That's the main question, right? Now, here's the thing that really trips me out. When I study these epiphanies, I'm going like, wait a second. They're trying to give us, and, and they're doing the same stuff. Because now remember, Yvette, we, we did this, she did this broadcast about, uh, what's, the, what's the girl, Kamala, Kamala Harris, you know? And he was talking about how she's wearing Timberlands or fake Timberlands or whatever it is or whatever he's wearing, and and the, and and the and the, the MSNBCs or whatever the the, the 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 whatever they're going like, oh, she's a sister, you know. First she went from Chuck Taylors, you know, to Timberlands, you know. I look if you was really hip, you wouldn't even wear no Chuck Taylors. You'd be some, you'd have some hookers if you want some really good running shoes or some shoes, whatever. You know? Out of California, you coming out of California. Don't worry about it. Um, but he, but I'm, I'm bringing up this book here. Then, then some certain things start to start snowball on me, right? One of the things that's got this this book is a uh, Spud Jim Crow. It's a Jim Crow book. I, I posted something on on, uh, on uh, what do you call it? on you on YouTube about it because you know you have to always go to the as they say go to the ancestors if you will. You know, go to go to your lineage now. One of the things I'm gonna jump again. I'm jumping in as I try to find this. Uh, find these pictures. Um, one of the things is that I travel a lot. Right? I travel all over Mexico. Now, I say, but, you know, uh, Biden's going for the Latino vote, whatever have you. What they don't know is this. The Lat just like the, the, um, the, the, the African people that come over here, they're well-to-do, right? The, the, the servants are not coming over. You know, the people who got money, they're coming over. What to make money? to make contact, right? The people that come up from Latin America, they're not the people, they're not, the, or Venezuela, wherever they come from, they're not the people that are there fighting for their liberation. They're the people who's running away from the fight. They're being cowards. And they're coming up here and they're voting, right? Well, I went back to the page. So the, the people that that, that um, Biden is trying to get votes from, the people that people say, these are the people that they're cowards. They're running away from the fight. You know, the the the, the whoever they come, whatever comes they come, the, the refugees coming running away from the fights in their country to try to get the United States out of their country. I mean, is this making sense to anybody? So the kind of people that's going to vote are not the people in your interest. I mean, let me just show you a Mexican thing. They're racist in Mexico. Believe me, I've been all over Mexico. Believe me. Let me tell you. Let me give you a, a slight slight thing. Okay, I'm going to show you. Look. Uh, let's put it this way. I hung out with a sister. I'm talking about sister, dark skin sister. She, I'm about to tell you, she's from Jamaican heritage, right? She went to, she went, she went to, one, she went to Yale, whatever have you. But she was an investment back in Mexico. I met her in Mexico, right? Now, we, because she had a lot of money, but but she had no social life because they're racist. They, you know, in fact, in her business, you know, even in her building she was living in, the, the, the land was giving her brief grief until I came along, to a black man came along. When they saw a black man, because, man, that's a culture. That's a culture, a macho culture. As soon as I came on the scene, everything changed for her, okay? Even in a, in a job, this whole other in a job too, right? Again, it's a male-dominated job. But we would go all over, all weekend, we shoot someplace where we went someplace, went to about outside of Mexico City. I mean, way out. We call, we zoom. I'm stepping on the zoom. We're gone. You know what I mean? We went to this one area, and it was a, a nice club. I forgot how it was like say five hours away from and that's five, say four, three hours away from Mexico City. It was a a, a club. We heard about this club. It was at this place, whatever it is. I can't remember the place. And so we wanted to go in the club. Now we're dressed nice. You know? And we tried to get in the club. They wouldn't let us in. 
We got the money. We got we got to, we, we dressed properly, right? But they wouldn't let us go because they're racist. Because they still they wouldn't let any poor Mexicans in. They certainly not any black people in. Because remember, if you ever look at it, if you want to find out something about some some society, look at their soap operas. Look at their soap operas. Forever, the Mexican soap opera, the dark skinned person was the buffoon. Just like in this culture, come on, it's just like this culture. When those people came from, when the people, early people, like when they came from all these people, the, 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 when the Koreans first came up, the Chinese, all those people first started coming, the, the people, whatever they came in. Remember, those are the people that had some, they had television and they were seeing, they were seeing, um, um, uh, uh, what's, 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 what's Ralph Carter's program? Good Times, right? Good Times after Amos Wilson. That all my. They were seeing all of that coming through. And I'm talking about Cosby, you know what I mean? That's what they were seeing. So when they came here, they saw people were like they saw on television. They're growing up on it. When they see a black person on television, it's so very few, it's, you see? So that's their orientation. So they come here and they think, these people are nothing. Then the government gets a, a, a way where in their community, they will sponsor them to put a business in their community. Then they'll get together in their little uh, cabal, you know what I mean, and sponsor other, you know, every time somebody new comes in, you know what I mean, they give them money to start a business. Or you can start a chicken joint in the black community and they love chicken, they'll buy chicken. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you another story. I'll give you a better story. I live in Africa, okay? I've been there since 2003. I know, I know, right? Well, I live in South Africa. But I've been around other places. The, the, the Chinese would come in, and one time, like guy said, you know, why do they have all these clothing shops? Because back in China, they were saying Africans need clothes. So we started clothing shops. They, they don't have any clothes. You see the perception of the media, you understand? Okay? Okay. I'm going to keep on going. I'm sorry. You can turn off, go, go away, but I got to get all of this out. You know, because this is concerning to me, right? So all this stuff, stuff, stuff about Bobby, whatever have you. Then I'm going like, why should? Wait a second. And then plus we have no sophistication. Even even ADOS, where say people saying vote vote down ballot, vote down ballot. They're not telling you what that means. Then people say don't vote, don't. They're not telling you what that means. I put, I did a go to there's a thing called um my thing is uh uh. Uh, it's, it's the brother and the black man is it's one of my streams, and I go through and I and I go through a ballot. I got this um, Missouri ballot here, and I go through the thing. What it means to write in, what it means. You come to think where you you have to vote for sheriff. The judges say should this judge continue to sit instead of people spending their time. I'm talking about ages specifically. And, spending, and then they, they, they just put people on, on, on telephone and they say, yeah, your sister, you're right. Oh, yeah, and this happened. And these answer those. And spend the time, please spend the time showing what down ballot means. So you can see, you can write in, you can write in. Somebody called one time. These people just get lost in the source. They said, write in. Because I wrote in, I did wrote in ADOS last time I voted when I was last year, whenever I came in. I wrote ADOS. I wrote in ADOS, right? Somebody called in and said, no, write www.ados101.com. I said, hmm. So now when I'm writing it, that's what I'm going to write in. You see? The same thing when you get to the judges. Should this judge sit? This means now you could, this is like two pages back and forth, four pages of, of voting, of things, propositions, all the rest of that stuff. They, they'll say something like that, but come on, show us the thing. Show us where it says, it specifically says, I should get this thing, and no, I can't run out right now. That is maybe when I, I talk to the black man on uh, on Sunday. Well, I'll, 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 show, I'll show you what I mean. But you know, you should be researching this this these next days that we this next we should research your ballot. Try to get, I'm like when I gotta get when I get back to Virginia when I when I get back I'm gonna maybe when I'm still here I can download if they have the ballots ready and then download the ballot see how I'm gonna do it in Virginia. You research these people. What did this judge uh, put put your cousin in jail? Well, don't well vote that judge out. Is this the sheriff that's causing off the problem? Well, vote that sheriff out. That's what down ballot means. Forget this, the Congress, whatever happened. If you're in a state like New York, I used to vote in New York. It's a blue state. So so, so, so it doesn't matter. They're still going to get the Democrat votes, right? They, they, that's what they say. They're going to get the Democrat votes. So why, are you, why would you even vote for Biden? 
If you are going to vote for Biden, why would you vote for him on a Democrat line, give them more, give them more power and juice? Vote for him if you really have to do to vote for Biden, if you're going to vote blue no matter who. Then vote for one of the working parties, parties platform. Because they usually they, they, they usually is some like in New York, they would have, like say, you'll have somebody like, like Biden on, on like Democrat. He'll be on, say, the, uh, I'm just making this up, they say the liberal line, the working parties line. There's something else lying, right? They want this thing. So I used to just write in working parties, but now they got slick to that, and the working parties got taken over by the Democrats. Cuomo now runs the working parties uh, uh, thing in, in New York. So that's not going to do you any good, you know? But the thing is, since he's going to win anyway, don't write in ADOS101.com or write in, like I do, Right, what I'm starting to do too, I'm alternating. I'm right, right in www.producejustice.com. That's Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Okay, against white racism. Okay, Anglo racist white supremacy. That's what it's that's what it's against, right? Okay. Let me keep on going with this. Somebody like everybody the dollar with AOC, AOC, AOC. Well, why why are not the black people saying, oh, AOC, wait a second, in your district, isn't Rikers Island in your district? Why isn't people coming in and challenge her? Why aren't the people on, on the, the, the our so called what media? We don't have media. We don't have people like that. This should be AOC. Yeah, I'm, this, you, you're all for the immigrants and your Puerto Ricans or whatever happening. Isn't Donald Trump now for the Puerto Ricans or somebody from the Puerto? No, Biden is going to he's going to rebuild Puerto Rico or something like that, right? Well, yes, that's that's nice. Then and then down there in Puerto Rico, and you want more immigrants to come in so you can get the. What about Rikers Island? What about Rikers Island? That's your constituency too. How come you're not voting? You're not getting some to have the vote and get them brothers out of jail. This is politics is an exchange, not a gift. This is what we say. Why are we? Why are not we trying to go for the exchange? Exchange. But look, people say, "Well, Killer Mike, yeah, he was all in the tank for Bernie. Bernie gave us nothing. Bernie didn't listen to Killer Mike. He wasn't listening to 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 to, 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 to Auntie." You know, whatever. And now, 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 now all, all, all the progressive, all that. Oh, you know, oh, auntie is good for us. We want auntie. She's going to run 2024. Identity politics. I ask her the same thing. Baby. Reparations. Reparative justice. If you're not, if you're not saying reparative justice out your mouth, I don't care who you are. So Killer Mike is up there talking to the Republican governor. He's just shaking hands, got the mask signal at the Republican governor. Why is he talking to him? Because the boys are the up the state, you idiots. You should be talking to two. You, we should all be marching to Trump and saying, like, reparative justice. We want, we, we should go to every, all, all your leaders should be saying, look, here's the first thing, ADOS, here's what we want. Right now, as even as you get H H H eight forty or whatever it has, and, and the Senate bill or on there like that, as this is going through, as you name these people to some sort of commission that you want to pay them a lot of money for, at the same time, as a good faith method message, we need you to give a debt jubilee. You're a Christian. Oh, Pence, you're going to be the next president, whatever. Mister, forget that. Right, go to Pence. Pence, you're a Christian. Do you know about you know about the jubilee? Well, let's let's see how it would work with us now. Since since um. ADOS, American Descendants of Slavery, or like I like to say, I like to be more specific. North American Descendants of Chattel Slavery has been, everybody keeps on dumping on us online. They need, as a class, we have, we have to see if this jubilee will work. Then we're going to give a debt jubilee, and meaning even as this commission is going on, all ADOS has a debt jubilee for every debt, school, whatever, whatever, the car loan, whatever. See how it works. Well, what about everybody? Well, we we have a we have a test group. You know, Andrew didn't get a little thousand dollars a few people. Now this is our test group, ADOS. I mean, that's our test group. If it works for them, then we'll know work for the whole population. So we're gonna give them a debt jubilee. We should all be right now, all these things saying, need a debt jubilee. Oh, you Christians. You republic, you say you're Christians. Well, you know about Jubilee. Didn't you have isn't that in the Bible? Jubilee, debt jubilee. Okay, I'm gonna try to end here. I'm so upset. So I, this book has it's, it's been sitting up here the whole time next to my, hey, even my grand nephew was telling you, power to the peoples. <laughs> Always have him on my shoulder. I'm going to have this. I'm gonna see him in, in, in a, couple of, a couple of months. I'm going to go back and see him, talk to him. These are real black. I posted up for ending it. 
this is a real black woman. This is a real, a real black man through the era of Jim Crow. Look at this, look at these pictures. If you're a black woman that you're trying to, you know, say is this and that, don't look like her. Look like Kamala with, with some straight with some hair, straightened hair, and all done up with their makeup or whatever it is, or what they call thotten or whatever it is. That's not what we're talking about. See the brother. I'm not gonna say anything but else about the brother. That's who we're talking about. Not the current people. Not the people behind some microphone saying this and that. Not some people, you know, not some people that got some 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 fancy car saying this and that. That's not who we're talking about. That's not who ATOS is talking about. That's not who we're trying to, here we go, for liberate. Remember, you're not just a Pan-Africanist. You're not just a whole tech brother. You're not just a, a, a Moor. You're also, you can, you're also, your lineage comes through eight. D-O-S. Fight. Don't talk about, Donald Trump is bad. Oh, we got to get rid of that clown. Well, get rid of him. Oh, we need to, we need to vote him out. We, we need to vote? What? Well, voting is easy. Well, 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 well you know, we got to get Biden. Biden is doing what for you? What has he promised you? What have you asked him for that he has not given you? In fact, you've, we've asked the Democrat Party for a certain thing, and they've given us nothing. Have you asked? Have you actually asked Donald Trump for this? Has Donald Trump rejected you? The Negroes he had around him, they gave him bad advice because they, they're automatically projecting, well, he's going to reject this, he's going to reject that. Why are you letting... Ke okay, I'm through. I'm sorry. I went off. I shouldn't have. But I'm telling you, this thing has got me worked up. Because well, I've seen so much. Because what's happening is, is what, 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 what Trump and them, what Trump is actually doing is calling all these racists from these other countries, they're all coming and they're going to be supporting the Republicans. Believe me, they are. These are what I call the, the, the puppies. These are the racist puppies that's coming to yap at your ankles, ADOS bankles. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, and you know I'm right. These people come here, they want to be white, so you know I'm right. So look, that's it for me. T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I know for certain and suspect.